Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from Me You Know Teresa's Tam Cam. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Join the Tam Cam fam. And if you are an oldie but goodie, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So you guys, so I have been, this is a long overdue video. So this video today is going to be on how you can increase your likes and engagement on your Instagram platform okay so today's video is on how you can increase your likes and engagement on your Instagram platform so I have been getting a whole lot of questions lately on pretty much how you can increase your likes and your engagements on your Instagram platform when it comes to like you know contacting brands etc etc so I decided to make a full-blown video on this it just pretty much answers people questions on how I increase my likes and engagement and hopefully this video can be very very helpful for you guys so in today's video I think I have probably like either six or seven tips to give you guys that is hopefully helpful to you guys and help you out on your Instagram platform so you guys let's go ahead and get started into this video and if you have not already clicked that subscribe button if you are new to the channel or if you have been watching multiple of my videos this are bro click that subscribe button down below join the family and let's get started into these tips okay so you guys so I have my notebook here with me if you do not have your notebook to write down these tips go ahead and grab your notebook now your pen and paper because these are some important tips that you need to know and keep on you at all hands if you do forget okay so tip number one is to post great photos now I know that it's just like a very very vague statement when I say post great photos but when I say post great photos I mean to post like well lit photos you know like if you are like you know let's say a content creator that is posting stuff about makeup or fashion stuff like that like or food for instance like you want to make sure that your photos are like well lit or in lit areas and you don't want to have photos that are super duper dark where people can't see it or super duper blurry where people just they can't see it or they can't understand it or if they have like too much wording to where they just don't understand the purpose of the post so when I say make great photos or post great photos I mean just to make sure that they're nice and well lit nice and clear colorful if it needs to be have your aesthetic really nice and just don't confuse your audience with the blurriness or the darkness of your photo you just want to have a photo that has really really good quality so we want to attract people into our photos into our videos get it got it tip number two so tip number two is to use hashtags on your feed posts and or your story posts so the reason why I emphasize using hashtags in your posts is because hashtags actually help people to find you if you did not know that already great hashtags to use in your posts are using hashtags that are actually related to your content so like for me for instance I post a lot of content about hair and beauty so if I am posting a photo about my natural hair one hashtag that I will always use is hashtag natural hair or hashtag natural hairstyles and using this hashtag will help people find me just from that hashtag I have natural hair in my photo I'm hashtagging natural hair so people can find my natural hair photos another important tip with using hashtags is that you do not want to be too broad and you do not want to be too vague now let me explain exactly what I mean by being broad and vague so broad hashtags are pretty much like those big huge hashtags that everyone and them all use okay so those hashtags could be like the hashtag hair the hashtag hair probably have like I don't know like 50 million posts that people have used those hashtags in so therefore that hashtag could get lost in hashtag world okay and using a vague hashtag would be like a hashtag like you know Tam Cam natural hairstyles it's kind of like it's a, it's a hashtag that no one is looking for no one is not gonna sit here and be like oh you know let me just go ahead and look up Tam Cam natural hairstyles now if that is your brand name that you are using for a hashtag then you can use it as a hashtag and people will find you that way but if you're just trying to plug in different hashtags for people to find you using something so vague that people won't really look for wouldn't be really helpful so let's get into the next portion of these hashtags also you don't want to be too broad and using too many major hashtags now when I say major hashtags I mean the super duper large overly used hashtags so I actually wrote down a few examples of those broad major hashtags and then examples of the minor hashtag like the smaller ones so I actually did some research so some of the larger hashtags like for my niche which is natural hair and beauty so sometimes I will use the curly hair hashtag now I did a little research and the hashtag curly hair actually has over 27 million posts okay that is a lot 
of posts using the curly hair hashtag a lot okay so if i was to just post my picture one day and only use that one hashtag do you know the possibility of people finding me with that hashtag is like slim to none slim to none okay so also another major but a little bit smaller hashtag will be curly hairstyles that have a little bit over 2 million posts. And a more smaller hashtag that I can use is actually hashtag curly natural hair that have over 800,000 posts. So the one with 800,000 posts, I mean 800,000 is still a lot but it is a way better than 27 million posts. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I highly suggest mixing up your hashtags with major and some minor hashtags just so people can easily find you. And when I say minor, don't always use the ones that have like 800,000. Sometimes use some of them that have like, you know, like maybe 100,000 posts and stuff, stuff like that because it'll kind of like help people find you a little bit better compared to the ones that have like 20 something million, 50 million, those are like overly saturated and literally as soon as you post your picture and if you only have that one hashtag, your thing will get buried literally in the next second because they have other people that are using the exact same hashtag every single second, every single minute, which is why they have 27 million posts with that hashtag, okay? Switch it up, sis. Also with hashtags, consider using your personal brand as a hashtag. Now for me, I actually use my name, Tam Cam, my YouTube name, and I use it as a hashtag on my Instagram. And if you actually look on Instagram and do a hashtag Tam Cam, you'll find a bunch of pictures from my Instagram feed in that one hashtag. Now they may have like other people's photos, you know, that's using Tam Cam, but for the majority of it, it is my face, okay? And if you aren't following me already on Instagram, you might as well just go ahead and do so now at my natural high, okay? So let's go ahead with tip number three. Posting consistently. I cannot stress that enough. Now I know I have my days sometimes, if you do follow me on Instagram, I have my weeks to where like, I may not just post at all because I may just be busy working or I just didn't make any content just to post on Instagram. But posting consistently is very, very important to your audience. The same with how it is important when it comes to posting consistently on here on YouTube. So let's say if you've been consistent posting the entire month of May and you've been posting like three posts a week on Instagram, you know people been engaging with you like and stuff like that and then here comes June and you're like let me post a photo like once every two weeks it's kind of like Instagram also has an algorithm to where you know if you don't post stuff consistently like people don't like stuff people don't see stuff so they kind of like feel like your page is not important so therefore when you finally do decide to post something they won't really show it to your audience like they did before like it's kind of like almost like a shadow banning almost like they just feel like the content isn't important so we don't need to show it all because it's not even getting that much attention anyways so why are we going to waste our time showing it to people so you're just losing a chance for people to actually see your content when you aren't consistent and also when you're not consistent people actually just forget about you Plain and simple. Because if I don't see your face, you know, for instance, for like YouTube, for instance, if I don't see your face for a long time, I give people a chance at least two weeks, okay? If I don't see you for a long time on Instagram, I literally forget that you even exist on there. And I sometimes, like people even go like sometimes months or a month or so not even posting a thing on the Instagram feed or story. And I just end up feeling like, oh, maybe this person is just not coming back to Instagram. So let me just click unfollow because it's like you're not posting anything for me to like or anything like you know to engage with you so there is no purpose for me to follow you posting consistently is very very important to keep up with your audience also to keep up with your engagement and keep up with your likes on instagram so tip number four is to find your audience so it's very very important to find your audience and to know what your audience like it is very important to find out what your audience like and what they don't like now i know what you're saying you know like why does it matter what my audience wants and what they don't want this is my platform i'm posting what i want and i get it i get it it is very very true it is your platform and you post what you want to post but at the end of the day you do have to put your audience into consideration when it comes to being you know an influencer or a content creator honestly you do okay because for instance i post videos mainly about natural hair and beauty if i come onto my instagram and i post multiple all of a sudden random posts about how to fix a macbook about different types of cars or something car parts and stuff like that my audience is going to sit there and be like 
what the hell is going on? This is not what I subscribe to. This is not what I clicked the follow button for. This is not something that I'm into. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna engage with her photo. I'm not gonna like it. I'm not gonna comment because I don't even like this content. And they may eventually just unfollow you because that is not what they went onto your platform to see or to watch. So therefore, it is important to know your audience, you know, know what your audience like. If they like to see you doing like a lot of beauty tutorials and stuff like that or like, you know, beauty videos and stuff like that, keep it up because that is what your audience like. I'm not saying to change what you like because what you like is obviously what you're posting and that's how you're building your audience from what you like. But be consistent and concrete in what your niche is actually going to be. And if you're going to stick with that niche, just see what your audience actually like. You know, if they like tutorials, if they just like photos, you know, if they like this and that. That is what I mean by seeing what your audience actually like and what they don't like. Not necessarily changing what you like. So tip number five, tagging brands and related pages in your posts and or stories. Now, this is very, very important for us content creators and influencers that kind of want to be seen and you know, we want to work with different brands and stuff like that. Right, right. Tagging brands can actually help you in so many ways. And when I say so many ways, so many ways, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about some of the ways that tagging brands and related pages can actually help you in your platform. So tagging brands on your posts and or story can actually help you because brands can actually see your posts sometime if they're not like flooded with other things, but they can actually see your posts and they actually may like your posts and actually may repost your posts. Now when brands repost your posts, sis, that is a good thing, okay? Because when brands repost your posts on either their story or even better, their feed okay other people can actually see your post and they may actually be like oh sis look at her i like her hair i like this i like that let me go ahead and click on her profile and then they may scroll through your stuff and be like oh i like what she posts and they sit there and do a little like and spam situation there and actually follow your instagram or whatever content you're posting so just tagging brands brands can actually see you they may repost you so that's actually one benefit right there also tagging pages that are related to your content are very very important and when i say pages that are related to your content i mean like for example i post pictures about natural hair outside of tagging brands that i actually use to style my natural hair i may also tag other pages that actually repost other people's natural hair photos such as pages like i think it's team natural amazing natural hair um my hair crush stuff like that because like when they see that I tag them in my post, they may actually in return repost my post and then other people see my post then click on my name and be like, sis, I like your picture and then like on that picture and then look at my other content and they actually follow me. Okay, so it's like a big old just chain chain of just things happening right there. Another reason why it is important to tag brands in your post is because people from the outside may actually be looking at these brands pages and looking through their tag photos to see exactly, you know, like who is using their products, any type of inspiration it can get, you know, to actually purchase these products. Like for me, for instance, you know, like I tag Camellia Rose a lot, like when I actually am using their products, obviously, but I tag them in my photos, you know, when I'm using their products and I could just go on their page anyway just to go through their tag just to see you know like how someone use like you know either like their new styling foam or something like that you know just to like get some type of inspiration on how I want to use this product you know what type of combo and stuff like that and like if I see someone who hair is bomb or whatever case may be or there's like some nice content with a video with their product I may sit there and go scroll through their page and be like, oh, sis, I like what you're posting. I'm going to like this, like that, and hit that follow button as well, okay? So that's why I say it's very important to tag brands that you use in your content on your content because you never know who is looking, who may actually like your stuff, and post your stuff to actually get some more traffic to your page we want all the traffic bring all the traffic the good traffic obviously so tip number six is to use geotag locations so if you do not already know what a geotag location is it's pretty much when you put the location on your photo wherever that photo was taken so if i'm at a restaurant or whatever like that you know my hair is flowing and stuff like that you know i will tag the restaurant you know root chris or whatever whatever because i feel like 
putting a geotag on a location is very, very important because you never know who is actually searching up that specific location. Let's say, you know, I may be sitting here and be like, you know what, I want to go look at this, you know, this brunch place one day. I just want to see what kind of food they have or whatever, or like, you know, the atmosphere or like, you know, how people enjoy the place or whatever like that. So I may go sit there and like Google, you know, the Ruby Slipper well, not Google, but search on Instagram that Ruby Slipper through the locations. And then I see people posting foods and like the aesthetic of the picture, you know, they're smiling and laughing, this, this and that. And I'm like, oh, you know, this picture is cute. Let me like it. You know what I'm saying? Let me like this one. Let me like that one. That is a great way to get more traffic onto your photos and onto your Instagram platform by using geotags. Because you never know who is looking for that specific location. And when they are looking for that location and your picture is bomb, they're going to click on your picture and like your photo. And you know, they, they might even drop a comment and ask you, how was your food, sis? How was that hotel? How was that event that you went to, that you tagged in this photo, okay? Tip number seven is to like and engage with other people's posts. Now, when I say like and engage with other people's posts, I mean to like and engage with posts that you actually like. Do not go ahead and sit here and do like a spam like and stuff or like fake comments on people's stuff because that is not genuine and you don't really like that. Like, I hate when people sit here and just post like fake comments and stuff like that or just like a like for like type type of thing like that is that's a no that's a no but if you physically really like something and you always on the same person page or the same platforms page like the photo comment you know how you feel about the photo if you like the photo if you you know don't you know your opinion about the photo or whatever the topic may be about the photo you know sit there and engage because you honestly never know who is sitting there looking through comments because sometimes I'm actually looking through comments and I'm like oh my gosh this person is funny like let me go say let me go ahead and go click on their profile and see like what they post on a regular or whatever and you know if I actually do like this stuff I may sit there and go like some other thing or actually follow them on Instagram so you just never know what commenting and engaging may actually do for your platform also when you actually do like and comment and engage on people's posts yeah, people can actually see you like the saying says a closed mouth don't get fed okay so if you are an influencer a small influencer at that and you like want to be seen liking and commenting especially on your brands that you want to work with and stuff like that posts or like you know fellow influencers that you want to work with stuff like that you know comment and liking and genuinely you know talking to them and stuff like that that can help you in the long run because they may sit here and be like oh you know like this person is always in here commenting on my stuff you know let me go ahead and check out their stuff oh you know they post some great content too let me go ahead and go like on this follow them on this whatever whatever so liking engaging and commenting on other people's posts will actually draw more traffic to your Instagram platform and or Instagram posts to get more likes and engagement for yourself as well, okay? Do not forget, being quiet and not saying anything is not gonna help people see you at all. You need to speak up, open up, and say what you gotta say so people need to see you, sis, or bro, okay? Period. So this concludes all the tips and tricks on how to increase your likes and engagement on your Instagram platform. So if you do have any type of questions, any type of concerns, any thoughts about this video that you want me to answer, go ahead and comment down below. Leave that question. I love to engage with you guys and I answer any type of question that you have as long as it's not, you know, like something crazy. But you guys, if you do have any type of question, go ahead and leave it down below in the comment box. I will go ahead and answer them. Hopefully y'all did enjoy this video and it was very, very helpful for you guys. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already, which I hope you did throughout this video, Go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and hit that bell button so you can be notified if sometime when I post a new video and you do not miss a thing, sis. Bye, guys.